Hey, what's up, B? John, aka Operation iDroid here, and welcome to my live reaction of Terra for Mars Chapter 147. If you want to read this chapter along with me, you can click on the card right here or follow the link in the description below to read the chapter with me and, of course, do it at the exact same pace by following this page overlay right here. With that being said, I am extremely excited to start this chapter of Terraform Mars because things have been just out of this world right now. Deaths, betrayal, craziness, and I just want to get into it. So if you guys are excited as well, definitely hit that like button as it's greatly appreciated. And without any further ado, yo, I'm looking at page one right now. Like the chapter page looks pretty cool. Like, okay, here we have Shokoichi. Um... Don't know who the second person is. Uh, the third person looks like... Uh, is that... No, that's not Joe. Okay, well, you know. We know who they are. I just don't know their names because there's so many people, yo. There's so many people. But anyways, page two. Of course, shout out to Imperial Scans for the translation, yo. They're always on point with these. And I'm happy that we can get back into it. So, yeah. Okay. Yakeo, that's... Alex... I can't see uh, my my webcam is like <laughs> my webcam's right in the way of that speech bubble. Does it hurt your back? Yeah. Keep talking to me. I can't afford to transform back. There aren't that many bullets left here. That's fear is. Anyways, that what is that? Okay, finally we're going to find out what that is. Okay. Fellow people of Mars, especially civilians and those without means of travel, welcome aboard. The pot arrives to save the warriors. The, this is the frontier spirit. Okay, so it is like what I thought it was. Like, you kind of just go in there and it takes you to, like, the ship that takes you back to Earth. So they basically just have to get in there and they're good to go. This ship will take you to the, the evacuation point for Earth. Please be advised that the maximum load is 270 kilograms on Earth, which is roughly equivalent to three adults or two well-built men. Yep, we have some pretty well-built men. <laughs> um... That mechanical voice spoken in English with an Asian accent. They work so hard. They work. They they who had so far always been fighting other humans. Oh wait, so this is from the Kizaru. Wait, what? I'm I'm lost. Is this a trap? Such was their first thought. However. Okay, get inside. The people who first realized it was an app. It was an ally where, huh? The Japanese. Oh, it's Japanese. I thought because they said Asian accent, like it was the Chinese, but this is actually Japanese. So nice. Alex. That symbol before. Okay, so it has a two on it for division two, I guess. Okay, that makes sense. You're going to be safe. Get in there. Shokoichi Komichi. Who knew about it to some extent? So they actually did it. Oh, wow. So Captain knew about this the whole time? That's, uh, that's kind of surprising. And one who was not Japanese, but had knowledge of count of countries all over the world due to his special education, Joseph J. Newton. Okay, so Joe also knows that that's a safety thing. Yo, look at this man's face. What the fuck? I really want to see him transform, yo. We still don't know what his MO operation is. Like, he's just a badass. He fucks all these cockroaches up. Without even transforming. Okay. Eva, Michelle, Akiri, get in. Okay, so they're going... Wait, what? They just got off balance. Okay, who pushed them? Okay, Joseph pushed them and Shokichi pushed them. Yo, they're sending out... They're telling, like, some of their, their greatest warriors right there to get in. Capacity 3 adults. Oh, yo. That's sad. Not everyone can fucking go. Okay, wait. Is there any speech bubbles here? No? Wait, wait, Captain, it's all of us. If all of us fight, we'll finish up quicker and everyone will be safe. Hey, it'll be an easy to fight against the roaches with seven of us. Straight up, yo, that's a fucking badass militia they have going on there. All the division leaders, all six, while well, Eva's like kind of like Adolf now, so she counts, plus Akiri. That is a strong ass squad, yo. How crazy is that? Like, imagine if all of them could destroy these cockroaches here, yo. All right. We don't have time for that. This thing that looks like a spore is probably sent from Kai Yancho, the military leader. 
The probability is especially high for Vice Captain who has the power of ants. If you inhale it, you guys will be controlled and taken by them. Oh shit, that's crazy. Uh, don't underestimate us. It'll be easy, even with only four of us. Think about our ranks and age, Vice Captain. What does age have to do with anything? I don't know. Yo, my webcam is in the way of this text. It's so annoying. All right. Um, having, having a girl who's the same age as my daughter fight along with us. It's so embarrassing. I wouldn't be able to face my own daughter. <laughs> it's so dumb. Michelle, I, I couldn't stop you from coming to Mars because I knew that you wouldn't be able to keep moving forward unless you did. But if I don't send you guys back to Earth, even if you're dead, I won't be able to face my captain either. Oh, fuck. That's crazy. Yo, look at their faces. Why the fuck is Akiri and this Chinese guy like having like a, a like fucking heart to heart like stare? I, would, I don't get it, but okay. All right, that's a nice. Okay, so this is this guy's like inside thought, right? That's a, te not, that's a nice expression. Wonderful. The temperament from birth. Who were they blessed by life? Or both. I can't see this. I was trying not to look at those eyes because I would become hopeful again. The hope for the future. Oh, yo, he's comparing this man Akiri's eyes to the praying mantis girl who was on the original uh, Annex. Not the original, but Annex 2. I made sure I didn't look at them because I have a reason to not let that happen. He's, uh, he's Amaru. Okay, Akiri. Vice Captain Davis, I'm not going to apologize after all of this, but you, your destinies might have been something that we couldn't change, Leo. You're younger than me. If we squeeze in, we might fit. Wait, okay, so she's talking to Joseph. Yes, it's Michelle's birthday, of course I know. Who do you think I am? I definitely won't give up. Please... Be prepared and wait. Find a restaurant for us. <laughs> this man Joe is still trying to get it in with Michelle. Akiri, you absolutely you absolutely can't let Michelle die, even if it costs you your own life. It's a promise between us men. There's yo, know, this is such like a weird like love triangle, like Joe, who just wants Michelle for her body and like to like continue their offspring's like amazing genes. But Akiri also likes Michelle, and I think Michelle also likes him, so uh that's a little awkward. Let's meet again. Wait, what's with this situation? What the hell, you old men? It's funny how they're all old except Joseph. Joseph's just a badass. Everyone's sounding just like my dad. Okay, I can't... Oh, right. All we have left is the four teams. That kid is... He's not here. The Japanese symbol that was on the door. It was like a family crest. Oh, I missed one. Did Kenji know something about this? Okay, it was like the number two. Uh, how can you set up something like this? I won't ask for the details, but are you related to the government or of Japan or America, or are you related to the prime minister? Wait, who the fuck is this? Who the f wait, what? Yes, well, I'm told I don't look like him, but I guess I'm related. A new important character makes an appearance. Wait, who the fuck is this guy? He looks exactly like the prime minister. What? I'm so lost. Yo, what the fuck just happened? I, I, I don't know who that guy is, number one. Number two, are they really going to be able to escape on those little capsules? Fine, and just leave everyone behind? That's kind of sad, yo. And you know what's even more sad? Like, okay, they all came here. Well, like, the good intention people came here to get the cockroaches and solve the virus that all the humans have. But there's others that just wanted to do this so that they can steal the bodies of Akiri and Michelle for their own, like, war, um, just research. So they can, like, reproduce them and use them for war and whatnot. However, like, the ones that are actually there for the MO operation, like, if they had that one guy, that crazy-ass Chinese guy's fucking ability that he's just dropping spores and controlling all of these cockroaches, like, hello, they could have just captured tons of cockroach samples, headed back to Earth in no time... And then just fucking solve the the freaking uh, solve the the like disease that everyone has from the cockroaches. But it's like, damn, yo, everyone has their own intentions, and it's just fucking everything up. But I mean, this 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 manga would not be as entertaining if it would have just happened like that. But with that being said, 
I hope you guys enjoyed reading this chapter with me. I can't wait for more chapters and until we finally catch up with the Japanese manga chapters. And I guess I'll see you guys next time for some more Terraform Mars whenever the next chapter comes out. And with all that being said, as always, thanks for reading this with me and keep being...